Uh, we're going to switch it up a little bit. I actually have never done this yet, but I think the, the guys that have been reading a lot of my blog posts know why I'm such a big fan of, you know, like counterbalance with plyo balls. So I'll make sure to link that in whatever I do with this video. But now we're just going to go wrist weight. So we'll see if it provides the same feedback, but five pound wrist weight and I'm not gripping anything with my hand, so we'll see if that changes anything. 12 ounce. Nine ounce. Seven ounce. Eight ounce. So it definitely like makes me kind of just stay here in this area, like I don't get out. Is that good or bad? That's the question, right? Five ounce. Three ounce. Four ounce. 10 ounce. Definitely, that's that's the feedback that I'm getting is like, I literally can't like move this. I mean, I can, but I, I, I don't want to because it'll like, I don't know, maybe it's just wants to shift on my wrist, but I'm keeping this super like still. I'll be interested to see what it looks like on the video. But for me right now, it feels like I'm just keeping it in this same vicinity and I'm not too loud, I guess, with it. Six ounce. 11 ounce. So then the question is, is like, is that good or bad? And I think a lot of you guys know that I'll never say like, well, I, maybe I will say there's, there's such a thing as good and bad, but like, I feel like everyone has their own sense of efficiency and we just try to maximize that. But the, the first thing that comes to my mind is like, this would be a really good tool to utilize for someone that's not, not able to sync up their their throwing arm and their glove arm. So this is actually maybe good feedback and a good tool for me because I get in a situation a lot of times where like this wants to go loud, you know, be long, and then this wants to stay kind of compacted. Whereas like what happens if we keep them even the entire time? And this is a good conversation that my boy and I have, um, Sam, who is talking about their, his glove arm almost leads him in a misdirection that way. Whereas like if he can kind of direct his glove arm linear to the dish, then he'll get more linear energy, which would theoretically be more energy, right? Cause you're not misdirecting it. So maybe a good tool for someone that wants to think about keeping that glove arm linear and then seeing if their lower half will follow that. I'll be interested, like I said, to see the video, but that's a uh, wrist weight, five pound counterbalance. And like I said, the feedback it gave me was just like minimal movement. I don't want to get loud with it. I don't want to be over-exaggerant. 